If you are thinking of moving to Lethbridge and you're wondering what the heck there is to do around here, well, you're in luck because in this video, I'm gonna go over the top five day trips that me and my wife have had the pleasure of exploring and I know that you're gonna love it. Also, if you're one of those people thinking of moving to Lethbridge, I also have a pros and cons list on Lethbridge that I'll link down below and right here. So you can watch that video after this one. Make sure you watch this one first. However, if you already live in Lethbridge and are looking to do some things around the city, this video is also gonna work for you. So let's get into it. So destination number one is Waterton Lakes National Park, which is about a one and a half to two hour drive southwest of us towards the US and BC border, and is one of Alberta's six UNESCO World Heritage Sites. This place is just like a little Swiss town nestled in the mountains. From this town, there is a ton of hiking trails and outdoor activities. My wife and I actually spent 72 hours out here with Travel Alberta and we made a whole travel video about it, which I'll also link down below so you can watch that one after as well. Waterton is seriously a beautiful place to visit. Destination number two is Writing on Stone, which is another UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is located just about an hour and 20 minutes to the south of Lethbridge. Here you can find a provincial campground and the most incredible hooters that you'll ever see that you're free to explore and hike. My favorite thing to do here is stop right before riding on stone on your way there at the Weir Bridge and we can bring our kayaks and paddle boards and we can go for a leisurely float down the winding Milk River all the way to the campsite. Also, the whole reason why this place exists is because of the hieroglyphs that are carved into the hoodoos by the indigenous people. You can get a good view of most of these hieroglyphs by just striking to the trail, but you can also get closer access by paying for a tour, which I highly recommend. So destination number three is Drumheller. This dinosaur destination is located two and a half hours north of Lethbridge, and it's a destination that you're not gonna wanna miss. Not only is the Badlands landscape incredible, but you can also stop at the Royal Tyrell Museum, which is just a world-class museum where you can see the most dinosaurs you could ever imagine. There's also some famous biker bars like the Last Chance Saloon, and more hiking and biking trails, as well as ton of areas to camp. Destination number four is the Crow's Nest Pass and the Frank Slide. Okay, so I know I've really been going hard with the Badlands and the Hoodoos, so now it's time to get back to the mountains to the Crow's Nest Pass. Every time me and my wife go out here, we're always thinking to ourselves that we really need to bribe property out there because this place is gonna be the next Banff within the next 20 years, if you ask me. With places like Banff getting so expensive, places like the Crow's Nest Pass are gonna be more popular in the years to come. And we've already seen real estate prices start to jump. But anyway, here is one of the best mountain destinations in Southern Alberta, where you can find jaw-dropping hikes, camping, and of course, the emphasis on the Frank Slide, which is Canada's deadliest rock slide. Back in 1903, the town of Frank was devastated by the mountain collapsing right in the middle of the night. And the remnants is still here today. I'm telling you, driving through this place is kind of surreal to see all the rocks on either side of the road. Destination number five is the Cypress Hills Interprovincial Park, which is about a two and a half hour drive to the southeast of Lethbridge and is yet another dark sky preserve. Man, if you guys like the stars, Alberta is definitely the place to be. Now, what I really love about Cypress Hills is that when you're driving there, one minute you're in the prairies and the rolling hills and the next, just like that, you feels like you're back in the woods and in the mountains. The other crazy thing is that the elevation out there is the same elevation in Banff, which doesn't really seem like it, but it's pretty amazing how high you are. Cypress Hills is also home to the highest population of cougars in Canada, which is pretty terrifying, but also pretty cool. There's also a beautiful lake for boating and fishing, as well as a ski hill in the winter. There isn't much in terms of restaurants. I think there's only like two, but there's a ton of places to camp. And our favorite campground is the Lodge Pole Campground, which is up on the hill and is very secluded. I don't really know what it is about that campground, but at the Lodge Pole, for some reason, I always feel super relaxed when I'm out there. Let me be the first to say that Alberta is one of the most beautiful and diverse landscapes in probably the entire world. You have hoodoos just to the south of us, you have hoodoos to the north of us, then you have the mountains to the west of us, and Cypress Hills over to the east, which isn't quite the mountains, but it's not the prairies, it's somewhere in between. 
Alberta has some of the most beautiful mountain destinations and some of the most beautiful winding rivers. You almost get every single landscape in this province. And I really wanted to make this video to show people that when you're in Lethbridge, there is so much to do just within an hour's to two hours drive away from us. I've lived in Lethbridge almost my entire life. And Chelsea, my wife, has lived here for about the last 10 years. And we've really tried to explore every single inch of this province. And let me tell you, it does not disappoint. Sometimes living here, I can take it for granted, but that's why we always like to get out and go camping and go to all these destinations, just to really get out there and really appreciate where we live. So if you guys found this video helpful, please hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this or any of my home tours, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And finally, if you're thinking about moving to Lethbridge, there is a link below to sign up for new listing emails. And finally, of course, if you want to get in touch with me, be sure to call, text, or email me. All of my links are going to be located down below as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.